It's a very interesting question, the notion of these animals that live so far beyond us uh, 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 and how difficult it is to study an animal that lives to maybe 300 or 400 years um, and, um, and why they die. I mean, they will die of old age. They're one of the few animals in the animal kingdom that does die of old age because most animals have got predators which take their lives uh, before they reach old age. A whale almost has no predators at all. Only the only predator a whale has, apart from killer whales, which occasionally predate them, is human beings. We are, we are the only animals which really do damage to, to whales. So, so yeah, this notion of these hugely long-lived animals, um, it, it just underlines their sense of mystery. So it's a very interesting notion whether or not animals have a soul. Um, in the Bible, it makes it clear in the book of Genesis when creation is, is, is made by God that only human beings will go to paradise. But recently, as you probably heard, the Pope issued an encyclical about the environment and about the natural world in which he intimated that maybe animals do go to heaven, I, in a way that someone was playing with his words, in a way. But it's interesting, if you look at other religions, like um, Islam, in the Quran, the whale is one of the few animals that will go to heaven. Um, in Shintoism, in Japan, uh, unborn whales, the, the fetuses of unborn whales, are buried in, cer in ceremonies and in special cemeteries. Um, in other religions all around the world of indigenous peoples, whales are definitely celebrated as animals that sit in heaven too. So it's a very interesting question. Thank you. Very good question. Thank you very much.